This week at the Dana Open presented by Marathon, several players were given exemptions in the field thanks to their good play at the NCAA championships in May. One of those players was former San Jose State Spartan Natasha Oon. Natasha finished runner-up in the NCAAs at Greyhawk and recently turned professional. Oon had a decorated amateur career, which included earning Mountain West Player of the Year for last season. There you can see her bio. It included being the 2020 First team All American Mountain West Player of the Year, San Jose State, has mentioned the 2022 Inkster Award winner, which recognizes the highest ranked women's Division I golfer in the final year of eligibility. And we had a chance, uh, this opportunity, to speak with Natasha Boone, who's a pretty special player. It is a pleasure to welcome Natasha Boone to the show now. Now, so Natasha. You had a highly decorated collegiate career, but your pathway was anything but traditional. I'm interested because coming to the USA from Malaysia at age 16 years old, how did your life's path end up being one of the game of golf? Um, so I started golf when I was about like four years old. My dad took me to the driving range and he literally handed me a men's golf club and I think he saw that I had the natural ability to hit the golf ball because um, I made contact with golf ball and it flew and he got really, really excited with that. And he just hooked me up with a coach. And from then on, um, I traveled a lot when I was a kid because my dad was a contractor. And then he went, we went from Singapore to the Philippines and they had a great junior golf program. And I won the junior worlds when I was six. And then it was just golf from then on. And I keep going to the junior worlds and I got recruited by San Jose state. And, um, for some reason in Malaysia, um, our high school ended like at like 15 or 16. My Valley Victorian was like 14 years old. Um, it's pretty normal. I'm not really like super smart as everyone thought I was because I graduated when I was 16, but, um, then I went to San Jose state and yeah, I'm right here now. So it's pretty cool to have such a cool golf career. Yeah. Why did you decide then to attend San Jose State? My mom um, actually like chased down John Dorman, who was actually the coach at the time, was like, oh my gosh, like, are you from California? Like, is your school at California? Because she's heard a lot of good things about California. And he was like, yeah. And she just said, hey, my daughter's playing out there. And um, at that time, I don't think I was a super good golfer. I I didn't finish well in that tournament, I think. Um, but I think he just saw something in me and he just took a chance in me. And I got really grateful for that because I don't know if I'll be as good as I am now without San Jose state. I mean, they opened a lot of doors for me. Um, they had a lot of good people surrounding me. So, um, I think we just made the best choice out there and, um, I'm really, really grateful for them. Was an education at San Jose state then for you with as much as you love the game of golf, was that education plan A or was it plan B? Did you always have it as a dream to work in golf? I always had a dream to work in golf. Um, but I think the way that I was going about it before college is very different than the way that I am going about it after college. Um, I think college has surrounded me with a lot of people who have achieved a lot in the game of golf, such as Dana Dorman, Pat Hurst, Julie Inkster, Brian Inkster. And they, they are people that I would not have met without like San Jose state. So I felt like the education part of it taught me a lot about like how to talk with people, how to communicate, how to juggle time management wise. So, um, I totally get like the two different paths that people would take, which is like no college straight to golf, nothing wrong with that. But I really thought that college and then golf was just the best thing for me because I improved so much as a person and as a golfer. And I just think about golf so much more differently. I'm enjoying myself so much out there. You know, I don't want to be going out there in golf and thinking like, Oh, like I really have to like make it out here. I got a degree too. You know, um, mm. I can totally fall back on that. So I think just having that, um, and just, um, attaining to that part of life just makes me feel much more complete as a person and just a lot of memories from college that I can take with me into this part of my life. You've obviously got a great spirit and a great passion, but professional golf is full of ups and downs. I'm curious if you've had anybody out there that's kind of taking you under their wing to help you through the learning curve of the professional game. Um, so 
I won the Julie Inkster Award, uh, as a lot of people probably know. Um, um, JS right here, he's been like telling everybody I won the Julie Inkster Award. So um, it's awarded to like the number one senior in the country. And it's crazy that I even won it because the year before that, um, I got injured. And I just went into this year, like not knowing what's going to happen. And the best thing ever just happened to me. So um, I'm really, really grateful to have won this award. So Julie Inkster, she has been like the A-game mentor out there. And she literally had practice round with me yesterday. And she just walked and she just, you know, she just asked me to hit here, hit there. And um, also her husband, Brian Inkster, is also my short game coach. And also Pat Hurst, who used to coach us at San Jose State. She's also my mentor and I just live like 30 minutes away from them. And it's the best case scenario that I could think of myself. So um, again, like San Jose, San Jose State, San Jose State, California, that's literally everything for me. I'm still there and um, literally down the road, you know, Dana's still coaching our team and I still go to her and um, Courtney too. She's still there. So um, just a lot of people that I'm still familiar with and just look up to still around me. Um, yeah. And also my coach, Eric Stone, he's, he's, been with me since I was a freshman, but now that I'm a pro, it's way different. So yeah, sure. Now that you are a pro, as you know, you are in essence the CEO of your own brand. I'm curious, Natasha, what do you want your brand to stand for? My brand, I think I have gone through a lot as a golfer and I think I just out there in the golf course, I'm very happy, like go lucky kind of gal. Like you could see me literally laughing, like from like down the other hole. Um, I think I just want to be out there and just be a lot more cheerier. And like, I think I just want to embrace the happy part of golf, you know, not taking life too seriously and just having fun with it. Because I think, um, a lot of kids out here, you know, just growing up around like junior golf they just get super serious. And I think at the end of the day, the day, we have to recognize that this is a game and it unites people and it's, you know, it enhances our competitive spirit. It teaches us about life. And I just hope that when people look at me play, they can understand that like golf is something that you can enjoy and have fun with and just go out there with friends and just, you know, learn more about yourself and learn more about others and learn more about nature. So yeah, I just really hope that when they see me play, they just see how happy I am out there. Natasha, it is, it is very easy to be a fan of yours. We wish you the very, very best as you move forward. Thank you so much. It's so cool to meet you. And thank you so much, Golf Central. It's so cool to be here.